So I always give my location. We're here at uh, Terrapin Hill, elevation 1089, uh, just up uh, from the James River. Um, I've hiked all the way up to this point on this trail in a previous video. So uh, let's go on down here and I'm gonna make a, a right by the creek and we're gonna get a nice hike in here on the, uh, on the uh, parkway. Uh, let me, uh, let's see, yeah. Head on down. Boy, I tell you, <laughs> isn't this beautiful? I mean, my God, I, you know, a lot of people in Lynchburg would not even know that this exists. You know, and this to me is one of the best hikes I've ever done. Um, we're not going to get a long hike in today. It's a very late start. Um, unfortunately, uh, my mom died this morning, and so uh, I just, uh, I just wanted to come up here because uh, me and her used to drive up onto the parkway and. Uh, I just wanted the memories at this point. Uh, but this is what the trail looks like. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous down by the creek there? Uh, man, I tell you. And here, look, well, let's get the sign on the... Uh, so the um, the Otter Creek Campground is 0.6 miles, and that's probably as far as I'm going to get today. Uh, and then, of course, we've hiked the lower Otter Creek uh, Overlook. And, uh, of course, Otter Lake, I've hiked all the way around that. And then the visitor center all the way down by James River is uh, 2.4 miles. So let's just get going. And uh, I think this is going to be, uh, well, we'll probably only get about an hour in today. And it's um, going to be quite beautiful. I might just tack this on to the, uh, the Liberty Mountain video just because uh, this will be a, it's going to be a short hike. Uh, but, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it, you, just to tell you where to go with your car, you know, you just come up, you'll see the sign for 130. 130 will take you over to uh, Madison Heights. Uh, and rather than uh, and take the right, uh, you know, coming up from the James River, just make the left into that parking lot back there. And, uh, and then you can just get on this trail and hike up to the campground. And uh, I do want to get some footage of the campground. I do not know why. The campground is always closed because uh, when I come to Lynchburg, Virginia, um, I always would love to just bring my camping gear and go to that campground and, and camp there because, I mean, look at this. I mean, just to hike around out here, uh, I think it'd be awesome, you know. I, why, why does the federal government keep the campground closed? And we've got some footage of that campground. Um, boy, boy, I tell you, the cobwebs are out today. <laughs> I should have brought, I, daggone it, I forgot the walking stick again. You damn dummy. I, well, I just wasn't prepared. I, my brain wasn't, wasn't all there. Okay. So anyway, that's the stream. I'll get some more footage if, uh, if things change. I don't think, you know, I mean, it's not, this isn't going to be, you know, a huge climb up and down a mountain or anything. I, I mean, a walking stick would have been good for the cobwebs, but I can, I'll just pull up a stick here on the side of the trail when I see one. Um. You can kind of see. I mean, it's going to be somewhat slow going. You know, you got a you got a lot, a lot of rocks and roots and stuff. You know, you're not going to. I mean, I guess if you were young, you could you could jog through here. Well, there's another cobweb. Hey, God, man. I guess people haven't been on this trail in quite some time. Whew. All right. Well, let's just enjoy it. Isn't that beautiful? God, dang, it's beautiful. I love it. 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 You know, as I hike along next to the creek, I don't know if you could see that waterfall right there. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I saw that at first. Man, I keep running into cobwebs, though, I'll tell you what. But look at that. I think we're going to... Well, hell, let's get down here. Hang on, I didn't see it. I could come, come down next to the creek. We can, we can get a view off the creek here. Uh, another cobweb. Man, look at that. Isn't that awesome? And then you got the waterfall right there. As, we, as we're moving along on the trail here, this is what you'll see. Oh, I just had a spider crawling on me, dang on it. You know me and spiders. Uh, still pulling cobwebs out of my hair. But man, look at that. That is incredible. I'm, uh, I'm so glad I, that I was able to get down here and get that view for you. All right, let's keep going on the trail. As I move along, I mean, look at this. I didn't realize you could get out on these rocks. Holy moly, this is really cool. As we're going to get right on top of the waterfall. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. Looking up the creek. Oh, man, I tell you, this is just a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Look at that going downstream there. Wow. I just I can't believe I'm not going to 
hop down to that rock right there. This is a good enough view for me. Man, I don't know. Got to be some fish in here. I haven't seen any. All right. So I thought I'd show this portion of the trail. I'm surprised that they haven't done anything with this. I'm going to try to get through here without getting too wet. Huh. Okay. Uh, that wasn't too bad. I was a bit worried. Uh, step up onto the rock here. Woo. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. But I mean, you know, you can see it just literally right by the creek. Um, you know, I mean, I guess you can't really cut it in up here. Look at that rock right there. That's pretty, pretty cool. Um, so I'm just kind of, it's slow going here on this trail for sure. Um, you know, but, uh, uh oh, all right. I'm going to cut the video off right here because <laughs> I got to jump down. Well, here, let's just jump. Whoop. All right. Let's jump with the camera. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. So you can kind of see it's, um, it's slow going. I mean, but it is quite beautiful. Look at this rock. Man, that is awesome. Look, uh, look back down the creek. Uh, we're just kind of, kind of moseying along here, trying to get to the campground. Uh, here we're coming up on another waterfall. Boy, I tell you, this is uh, it is a gorgeous hike, uh, but kind of, uh, kind of rocky for sure. All right, man. I know I'm taking way too much video. Look at that waterfall there. That's awesome. That is cool, isn't it? Kind of a little little narrow waterfall with the rocks there. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Anyway, as I hike along, look, it, look at that monster tree. That's what it looks like under a tree, people. Fell over into the stream. Let's see if we can get another view of it. I'm coming up on the creek here. We can look back, it's uh, it's over top of the, of the creek. You can kind of see it and then we're coming up on uh, on this this is quite beautiful let's get down here and get a look back at that tree i can't really get it on the film but we are getting this uh this waterfall here oh and we're coming up on a, uh, a tunnel well that'd be cool all right i always like getting the tunnels on the video isn't this cool we're just kind of working our way through the rocks coming up and you can see the little uh kind of sidewalk right there i'm still swinging for cobwebs uh well i don't know man <laughs> this is this is from some crazy hiking uh I, I, uh well we gotta gotta navigate these rocks right here let's uh let's get that done i don't know why they wouldn't extend the uh boy look at that look at the bugs holy moly all right wow it's out it's out people i don't know I mean, I guess I could get my feet wet. Well, we, I think we can get through here. Woohoo! I always love it, it's the echo in these tunnels. Man, look at this. They gotta, they need to do some work in here, don't they? Holy more, look at that. Man, oh man, oh man. This trail, I, I mean, it hadn't been maintained in a while. That's for sure. All right, so uh, we got through there. Uh, let's just keep going. I actually had a kind of a quick easy section of the trail and then then you come down to something like this um, you know i will uh <clears throat> the, the advantage of doing this is that uh, it's, as it starts to get dark on me i don't uh i don't have to hike back on the trail i'm just probably just going to take the road the parkway back and that'll be swift hiking for 0.6 miles and so it doesn't matter how slow we're going on this trail and i uh, still got the creek over to the left i just kind of wanted to show you the what you're running into on this trail and it may it, quite beautiful quite beautiful i wish that uh more people hiked it so i wouldn't be the one knocking down all the cobwebs but oh well if that's all you got to worry about in life i think you're doing all right so this is uh this is different um you know one of the things i always uh, used to look for and i still will again maybe i'll be back up this way someday once i'm done with um, my mom's estate but I mean, look at this. This is kind of a little side trail off of the uh, the main trail. And boy, if you if you had a backpack on, wouldn't it be incredible to camp right here? I mean, this would be one heck of a campsite. I don't know if they actually cut this in or well, it looks kind of like a semi road. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to see. 
Well, I guess there's kind of a road going that way. Maybe maybe this wouldn't be that great a place to camp. I was thinking it was going to open up. Well, we got something over here to the left. Well, let's just see what this is. I, I got to check it out. It's uh, some sort of uh, cinder block uh, thingamabob, and then I'll turn around and get back on the trail. Uh, you know, wonder what that is. I, I, I just have no clue. Um, but there's the road. Well, hell, it goes up here. That might be a bathroom. Let's, let's go up here and check it out. I'm always curious about these things. I mean, you got here a structure. I'm trying to peek in here. I can't see inside. Well, it looks like it's, well, I see some paperwork. Maybe some tools and stuff. Maybe this is a forest service tool shed. Um, of course, you got that right there. And then I uh, got these and a light there with it's got electrical power coming in huh i don't know well i guess but part of the sewer system obviously i guess all right well anyway just wanted to check it out so let's check well let's walk around to the other side see what see what we got over here just a yeah just a just a power box and another i guess that's a window kind of bizarre out here in the middle of the woods to come across that but uh maybe um, like i said it looks like it's part of the a sewer system of some sort all right let's get back on the trail and uh man i tell you that what you know one thing actually i guess i'll have a seat right up here i got to change the battery on the uh, gopro i you know I, and that was uh, a gripe i had about uh liberty mountain the other day uh, you know and I, maybe that's something i'll try to do is uh go out and, and build some uh, benches on trails for people to sit on um, maybe I'll make that my life's mission or something, you know, but, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's get the battery changed out on the GoPro and, and all right, man, uh, I have no idea. I mean, I guess this is some sort of service road that they can come in on. Um, I'm not going to hike down it. I'm going to get back on the trail. Boy, it seems like every time I say something, <laughs> something pops up. Look at that. I got a bench. So I'm going to change out the battery. I couldn't do it back there. That thing was all wet and nasty. And well, this is kind of nasty too, but at least it's a bench and got to change out the battery here on the GoPro. And, uh, but man, it's a nice, to, nice touch to have the bench. I mean, the, the four by fours going into the ground or, or six by sixes, it looks like are in good shape, but the bench, I mean, they, they could replace this, you know, I mean, I don't know. All right, let's have a seat. Uh, what, by the way, look at the view from the bench. Just kind of looking down at the stream, isn't that nice? And with the, with, the, with the forest across the way over there. Very nice. So I got the new battery in the GoPro and uh, <clears throat> you can see they, uh, they haven't been back working on this trail for a while. So uh, we're gonna make a quick detour. Maybe this is what other people have done and just go up to the road. That The, the road's kind of parallel on the trail. So I'm trying to uh, get get didn't, didn't want to get on the road. I thought it was I was enjoying. Oh, look at here, we might have, we might be at the campground. Let's see what's coming up. All right, hold on. You know, one thing I have always thought is catch me if you can. You know, if you wanted to uh, park your car, you could hike up here and camp at this campground. Um, I mean, it looks like somebody was uh, building a fire over here. I mean, but look at this. This is really, really nice. I mean, right next to the creek, it's beautiful, you know, and I do not understand why this campground is closed. It makes no sense. I mean, look at these these concrete uh, picnic tables. I mean, that is awesome. Fire pit plus uh, the, the pole for stuff. I mean, why? Why close? I mean, it, you know, if nothing else, just make it a primitive camping area where people can come and, and camp, uh, you know, and not pay anything. I mean, why, why have it completely closed off to the public? I mean, you can see there's some RV parking right there. Uh, got the new battery in the GoPro, that's good. Maybe that's why that bench was there. Um, you know, probably no potable water in here, but who cares, you know? And, uh, you know, the, the, the one disadvantage is that you couldn't bring your car back in here, um, you know, to, 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 with your tent, you'd have to backpack to get here um but you can see i mean look at the fire pits are got uh, all kinds of wood in them and uh i guess well here let's see uh, we got something right here i don't know what it is uh, just gonna look at it um but there's a little you know that'd be a nice little tent site right there uh, kind of in the middle 
of the woods. Uh, now, if the campground was packed, that might be bad. Let's see what this is. Uh, I guess probably once upon a time, maybe that was a water supply of some sort. Um, and hell, you, you know, you still even got the uh, the place to, to, well, what's this? Warning container, small children can become entrapped in this. Uh, I guess that's, I don't know, trash can, I guess. But look at these campsites. I mean, this and this astounding. So I'm going to, I've kind of showed you this side of the campground. Let's walk over to uh, to this this area here. I think that's the uh, what used to be the bathrooms. And I uh, see here's, I, every fire pit has a pile of wood next to it. I mean, why close this? It doesn't make sense. Let's go over and look at that uh, bathroom there. Hold on. So just kind of showing you a couple more campsites, you know, uh, but uh, let's uh, let's see if the water's working. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? All uh, right, let's flip this baby puppy up, see what happens. All right. Uh, no. Oh, there it goes, look at that. Man, I mean, I don't know if that's potable water, but it doesn't say anything. Wow, all right. And then this, I guess, was what used to be the bathroom. So let's check this out. Uh, let's see what it says. Ida Creek Camp Campground will be closing for the season on October 31st, which is Sunday, then, uh, and, which is Saturday. All campers must be checked out by noon. Thank you for staying at the campground. Well, it's still closed. I mean, what we're coming into May, bear encounters, yeah, so what? Let's see, push. Yeah, it's locked. I figured it would be. But uh, let's just keep walking around the campground. But look at these campsites. I mean, isn't this outstanding? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why is it closed? I mean, uh, everything, in, well, even the water was working back there. If that's potable water, I mean, what the hell? So I'm in the very back of the campground. That'd be an interesting campsite. And then, of course, you've got the, your nearest neighbor is right there. But what I'm curious about is what this is going to do. So I'm going to walk up here and, and just see. Uh, well, it looks like there might be a picnic table back in there. Let's go on back there and see what it looks like. This might be the best campsite in the whole place. So they're calling this uh, campfire circle. So I assume maybe, you know, if you had a, well, back when the Boy Scouts existed, you know, maybe if you had a scout troop, you could uh, you bring them up here, have a barbecue, uh, maybe a little uh, show in the podium and, uh, um, you know, cause there's lots of seating right there. Uh, I mean, but if you were just backpacking, uh, there's a fire pit with, you know, this would be a good place to camp if nobody's here. Uh, it looks like you've got electrical on both. And I, who knows what's in that shed back there. Um, yeah, there's electrical coming in. Spotlight. It'd be, be kind of a, I mean, man, when you were young, wouldn't this be a, with that backdrop, man, that is just awesome, isn't it? All right, let's keep walking around the campground. So as I walk around, I always get the weird stuff. So they got this tape here. Danger. What Danger. Well, I mean, the bench, I guess maybe the bench, because it's missing. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just seems silly to me. All right, let's keep going. So as I walk, look at this. Now, if, you, uh, if you've if you got a splitter, or you could split wood, man, you got a lot of good campfires out of that wood right there. And I guess that's, you know, that's why they piled it here uh, for the campers. Um, and of course, if you had a chainsaw, you could even cut more. I don't know, I mean, they might take a, a frown on that with the noise and whatnot, but who knows, let's, uh, let's keep looking at the campground. So I always look when I walk these campgrounds so for the, the unique camp spots. So this is 37, now it's a bit close to your neighbor here, but that's a pretty cool view to have out of the back of your tent into that kind of a, a valley there. I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm just about done walking the campground. Let's just kind of show you. I mean, this is the reason why I love, 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 love the National Forest Campgrounds, and this is where state parks go wrong. You know, you could see this camp spot here all the way up to the, this camp spot here. You got, you got some distance between you, you know. I mean, that's, 
you don't want to be on top of people. You don't go camping. You get go you go camping to get away from it all, you know. And uh, and I like uh, a lot of times how these campgrounds are laid out. But the part that I just can't understand is why this is always closed. But it does look like they may be working on opening it up. I saw some fresh sawdust back there, I think, from where they sawed up a tree. And you saw that uh, that firewood. And all the fire pits have st sticks, so it looks like they've come in. And so you see this right here? Looks like they've come in and picked up all the sticks, I guess. So let's uh, let's get the exit, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do today. See that? See all those sticks piled right there? So maybe they are going to open it up this summer. Let's see if we can find anything on the uh, on the bulletin board or anything about when this thing might open, if if at all. Well, I knew this was over here, but I've never hiked it. This is it. if you come into the campground and you make a left. There's your trailer sewage dump station. I guess and uh, but you know you do have some more campsites along the creek just a little bit close to the road for me or the entrance and uh, and I guess this is another bathroom facility up here plus you got the sewer system running right through your your campsite but uh, let's go up here and uh, well there's the campground host if there actually ever was one um, I'm just gonna walk this portion there might be some good campsites up here but I, I like that other section of the campground a lot better than what I'm seeing here, you know. And as as the host, and I understand, I guess, you know, I, that's not where I'd want to be, I can tell you that. Um, anyway, let's just keep going. So maybe this is why this is the host campsite, because uh, you got your own water right there. But what's a, <laughs> what's a wheel doing passing to that pole? Maybe, maybe a host did that just to be decorative, I guess. And of course, it does, the site does have electricity, and uh, but you know, you look. I mean, there's your picnic table and fire pit. You can see all this wood. Looks kind of fresh. Um, and then, of course, what's the caution tape on the tree for? Who knows? I don't know. But uh, it it does look like they're working on opening this thing up because otherwise they wouldn't have cleaned up the campsites and put all the wood next to the fire pits. Um, that's about it for the campground. I uh, see. There's the bathroom. Um, I'm going to go over and read this stuff. I won't put it on the video, but, uh, uh, there's, there's, there might be a good campsite up here. Let's, let's get that on the video. Hold on. So this is worth getting on the videos. It says the Otter Creek and James River Trails. Um, yeah, I didn't, I, I don't think I've done the James River Trail. I, well, I've kind of, I've gone under the bridge. I'm trying to look at the, at the map here. And of course, you know, if you want to, pause right here I'll try to get it up close so you can read about the wildlife here um, and then and then there you go oh check out that bumblebee woohoo he's uh, he's been following me for a while now there's another one holy moly all right let's keep going so I'm all the way at the other side of the campground I mean, this wouldn't be too bad. Uh, kind of close to the next uh, picnic table there, because you got that's A53 and this is A54. Um, I do like how that fire pit backs up to the woods there, and then of course you do have the uh, um, the the, the uh, campsites right along the uh, creek. So that's it for the Otter Creek Campground. Maybe I'll see something on the way back to the car. I'm just going to walk down the parkway rather than hike the trail. So this is kind of the entrance bridge to the uh, to the campground. I think it's quite beautiful. Well, looks like well made, uh, but I thought we'd get a view of the creek from the bridge here. Um, this is this is on your way into the campground. Uh, man, check out that dragonfly! Woohoo! All right, but that's the creek, and you know if you did make the left, there's a lot of campsites right along the creek, but they're also right along the the road to the campground. I prefer a little more privacy, but uh, that's what it looks like. And let's walk over to the other side. Look at this railing, isn't that, that's pretty cool. I mean, it really is cool. And uh, you know, I don't know when they must have built this. So there's the creek from the other side as it flows down. And see, I would prefer that campsite right there or that one over there. So come in and go to the right, that's what I would do. 
Anyway, let's see if there's anything posted about the campground. If I see something, I'll get a clip of it. All right, so I'm looking at the board. It does say that they're going to open up in mid-May. Well, they, they see all campgrounds. I, I've never seen this campground open, but maybe it will be. And so I thought I'd get this on the uh, on the uh, the film. I mean, because this is, uh, well, there's a campground here. It looks like at Loft Mountain, Shenandoah National Park. That's going north towards uh, Charlottesville. Um, and then this is the northern end. Now, you, there's a pay station right there that you have to pay to go through there, or used to be. And here's uh, Shenandoah Lake. There's another campground there. And then, of course, we're at Otter Creek. And then there's your James River uh, Visitor Center. I might, I'll probably stop there on my way out. And then it looks like you got Cave Mountain Lake. There's another campground there, kind of off the, and the, well, Peaks of Otter. I mean, obviously, that's a, that's one that's been around. I'm looking to see, uh, uh, well, Rocky Knob. I didn't realize there was a campground there. That would be, uh, Huh. And then I guess, well, here's Smith Mountain Lake, and there's Smith Mountain Lake uh, State Park. Huh. You know what? I, I, I never even knew the parkway went that close to Smith Mountain Lake. Um, God, let's look for any more. Here's uh, Groundhog Mountain. Well, that's just a picnic table. I'm looking for any more camping. Along. Oh, here we go. You got the Stone Mountain State Park. Uh, keep going down uh, Northwest Trading Post, East Jeffers Park. Um, I guess there's the Moses Cone, or uh, Julian Price Memorial Park. Looks like there's some camping there. And then you got Lin Linville Falls Center. That's all the way down into North Carolina. So I'm glad I got to see that there. You know, so if you just wanted to come and drive the parkway and do, uh, do some camping along here, um, wouldn't be too bad. So here's uh, visiting the park. It's, uh, huh. All right, well, I'm going to hike back to the car. Uh, well, there's the D-Day Memorial if you wanted to go to Bedford. Uh, that's uh, go up to the Peaks of Otter and make a left there. And you can go always out to the D-Day. It is quite elaborate, the D-Day Memorial. I mean, they, they did a good job. But, you know, and see, when I look at this building right here, it looks pretty dilapidated to me. That's why I said I've never seen this campground open. I mean, I don't know. Um, I mean, if we, if, let's get a view of this building from the other side here. Hold on, let me get up the stairs and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, uh, you know, right here, I mean, when you look at it, it's all boarded up and everything. And, you know, the roof needs to be redone. I mean, so this, if maybe someday they're going to remodel it or what? what's the purpose of having the building there? I'd just tear it down if it's not going to do anything with it. All right, let's get back to the car. So, you know, here's, uh, here's something too. I mean, you know, these parks are paid for by taxpayers. And they got this sign, no picnicking. What do you care if somebody walks in here and has a picnic at one of the tables? I mean, what, I, I, other than that, I know a lot of people leave their garbage behind, but you could see it's locked and closed. But I mean, if I was a ranger, I'd have a big sign right here saying park opening May 15th or whatever it's gonna be, or, you know, park is closed until further notice or something. You know, or have a, just a sign somewhere, you know, I mean, so when people come in here, they, you know, at least they know when, when they'll be able to camp again. I mean, I, it's just the stupid stuff that I see that I got to make a note of. I mean, why not? Why not have a big old sign? You know, rather than park watch emergencies, why not have a big old sign right here? Park opens May 15th, you know, uh, uh, come one, come all. All right, and then the price, of course, how much, could, well, like, I guess the price varies whether you have an access pass or not. Okay, let's get back to the car. Thought maybe you might want to see the parkway on the way back to the car. That's, uh, you know, I mean, with the gas prices being the way they are, you know, I would just come up here, park my car, and then, you know, like right here. I mean, if I, if it wasn't so late in the day, I might hike down that road and just see where it goes, you know. I mean, that would be a cool hike, wouldn't it? Uh, and, you know, or just uh, do what I'm doing, hike, hike along the parkway, you know, and, uh, and just enjoy just being on the parkway. And man, the air smells incredible up here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, and just save the gas, man, you know, and well, or bring a bicycle, of course. Uh, this would be a fun, fun bicycle ride right here. But you can see I'm, I'm the only person here which 
is weird in and of itself, but anyway, I know people, you know, everybody's got to work for a living, and plus, they don't get 133 miles to the gallon. Uh-oh, got a car coming. Well, there's a guy on a motorcycle. God, I miss my motorcycle. All three of them, man, look at them. Oh, that's got to be fun. Oh, man, I can't wait to see my motorcycle again. Someday, folks, someday. So on my way back, that's what I was talking about. You just run into stuff like this. So I'm going to hike up in here. I might as well get a little bit more exercise and just see what's back here. You know, what the heck? That's why I say when you're hiking along the parkway, there's always all kinds of detours and stuff that you could take on your own. It looks like a rock pile. Oh, there's a road back. That's 130 back there. Okay. I wonder why they got all this rock here. That can seems kind of strange. I'm just going to go up here and look at it. I think you've seen enough on the video. So next to the rock pile, we've got another rock pile over here. But then we got this going up, and I need to get my heart rate up. So I'm going to hike up this. I have a feeling this is just going to take me up to the road. Let's see what happens. So kind of weird. I've got my heart rate up. I don't know, maybe this is some type of access road. Being drivable now. And then I came up to here, and it just looks like it dead ends next to this uh, dirt heap right here. Now there is a, I thought I was hiking, that's 130 right over here. Huh. But I, if you look, looks like it kind of goes this direction. I'm gonna go down here a ways and then uh, just turn around and head back. Cause I just made me wanted to get up the mountain a little bit to uh, get my heart rate up. Um, but I'm just gonna hike up here and see if it's gonna be weird if it's just dead ends up here, huh? which it kind of looks like it does. I think I did see some bear poop back there, by the way. So, Oh, here we go. What the heck is that? What in the world? Why is there a fenced-in structure with, well, a tr tree on it and everything else with barbed wire around the top and a cement block in the middle of nowhere? I guess that's what the road's for, is to get you up to that cement thing. And then maybe this once upon a time was kind of a parking area. I don't know. And then there's more well, dead ends here too. Okay, well let's hike back down that road. That was fun. Kind of a little side adventure. You know. But I mean isn't that isn't that weird? I wish let me see if I can get over to that cement structure. I I I, I didn't even notice it until I was just looking around right up in here. I, I just my curiosity, you know, what the heck is that? Well the door is off of it, but that don't look too sturdy right there, does it? Let's get a little closer. Yeah, I don't think I want to go in there. I don't know what that is. All right. Yeah, you could step on that, probably fall right through. Who knows? Man, look at it. I haven't done much maintenance with the dive there. But, all right, cool. So we're coming up to the, uh, the overlook where it all started. And I got to do the mantra, but thought that you, uh, you know, if you do visit the parkway and you wanted to do a hike, uh, you know, if you go to the left, it goes way down to, to the, um, the Otter Lake, which is, that's a really nice hike. We got that in the past, which you'll see that sign overlook ahead. And then of course, here's the uh, uh, Junction 130, Natural Bridge, uh, Lynchburg. And then of course, off to the right is where I, my car is parked. So let's, uh, let's just do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom, someday I'll be back in Florida. Under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. And if you're a Democrat, go to New York, go to California, but don't come to Florida with your politics. Bye-bye.